Hello everyone, uh, my name is Sumana. I hope everybody is home and safe. Uh, in today's video, uh, I'll be talking about an interesting topic, which is the gig economy. Now, gig economy, I'm not sure how many of you all know about it, uh, but I'll be speaking to you all in detail so that you have an idea about what exactly is gig economy. Uh, gig economy is also called as crowdsourcing or um, collaborative economy or sharing economy. So here what happens is uh, you have certain skills uh, which you can market and uh, both online and off or offline and then you get paid for it, right? Uh, basically, uh, if you see these days, there are a lot of uh, employment which is not permanent, which is project-to-project uh, -project basis or contract-based employees, right? Uh, which happens in a lot of uh, big companies as well. So that is nothing but gig economy, right? It's something which also generates revenue, wherein uh, you market your skills and it... Um, generates income for you right um if you see the, uh, in the rise of this digital era workforce has become very mobile so it's very important and it's very easy to uh, generate income with this kind of employment okay uh, if you see the examples of the economy there are a lot you have upwork you have thumbtack you have 99 designs uh, uh, all these companies uh, what happens in a gig economy is basically you work um uh, based these cloud-based platforms they have uh, a website or an app and uh, that's how you get connected and that's how you work so the company is not your employer but uh, it just it's a business where it connects uh, people who are seeking job to clients and uh, they are not the service providers right they don't consider themselves to be the service providers so it's a way of uh, it, it happens it could happen via a website or um, or through a mobile app as well, right? Uh, some of the examples of uh, um, firms which work towards, uh, which are working towards the economy are a prime example is Uber. So Uber has this driver partners app, right? Um, so with this driver partners app, uh, anybody who wants to, um, you know, who has free time based on his convenience, based on the whether you know probably he's nearby based on the route based on his availability he can actually uh, you know actually become an uber partner you know or an uber driver and if you have a personal vehicle you can use that um and then you can actually uh, become an uber driver you can become an uber partner and uh, and uh, earn money for yourself this was not there uh, 10 years back so uh, or five years back also so this is like a big thing right so it's a it's a great way of generating revenue uh, if you uh, there's there are more examples of this if you know about hop skip drive so this is another um, app uh, which is it's for an easy commute to children uh, for children um, those parents who are very busy and they have they're busy with their work and uh, if you have to drop off their children to the school or to the tuition centers like the coaching centers so you have these um, uh, diligently verified uh, drivers who are 23 and above they are verified and they're good child taker uh, child uh, caretakers as well uh, so they're verified properly and uh, yeah you can become the driver and uh, you also have an insurance cover and uh, yeah and that's it right so it's, it's quite wonderful and parents are relieved that you know uh, there's there's no tension that it's uh, their, their child is in trouble or anything because uh, it's all verified it's all verified it's all uh, uh, it's very professional and uh, these guys also have an insurance cover so yeah that's that's a good way of a source of income there's parking panda so parking panda is uh, uh, is a for uh, it's a car is, is an app wherein they connect uh, uh, people who look for space seekers uh, you know how bigger problem traffic is in i think all parts of the world so um this app it connects um uh space seekers with the space providers so if i have a parking space uh, i can just give it out you know i can just rent it out and then it brings basically the owners and the space seekers together and obviously the owners can make money out of it they can gain huge profits right and uh, you obviously also if i'm somebody who's seeking for a parking space i obviously get that parking space which is uh, very difficult um 
to get you know sometimes uh, considering the huge traffic and everything else um, then there's airbnb so like how uber is in the transport field uh, the transport sector this airbnb is in the in it comes in the housing property sector right uh, so basically um, owners can you know they they can get into a rental agreement and uh, they can just um, you know rent their house for maybe a few hours few days few months and then that's a source of income right and even they also have something like a referral bonus like if you sort of refer somebody else you also get a referral bonus so it's pretty cool that way and uh, then there is lyft lyft is again very similar to uber uh it's a again there's a driver partners uh during prime time they get extra pay so they say that you know they are uh competing with uber and uber pays like in prime time lyft pays like 35 dollars per hour to the driver and uber pays 30 dollars per hour so they're saying that this is you know they're like competing against uber and sort of saying that you know it's uh, being a driver partner is a, a bigger advantage if you've partnered with lyft stuff like that then there's amazon flex amazon flex is like you know you can deliver these uh, amazon packages based on your convenience it's like on a weekly basis or something uh, uh you get paid on an hourly basis like 20 dollars an hour or something so it's pretty cool right so you 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 can earn a lot of money okay you don't need like a regular job to earn money there are a lot of other freelance apps as well or uh, if you just google it you can probably find it now talking about the history like very briefly i'll tell you the history of gig economy uh so this word gig it it came somewhere in the time of 1912 1915 um it was uh, considered as gig means job uh it was a term which was used by some hr professionals uh and um during 2008 when the great recession happened uh that's when people lost jobs and things were a little unstable that's when people thought of uh, gig jobs as a profession which they can choose and uh, they're very happy with it right so uh, if you want to understand how does gig work right what what exactly is gig uh, gig can be anything you know you 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 want to deliver a lecture uh, if you if you're if you're good at teaching coaching if you are good at housekeeping if you are good with developing a software right it could be any sort of a freelance job right um you get paid uh, based on hourly basis uh you get project to project uh you know you have different pays for different projects uh and you also have uh sometimes an option to also choose you can demand how much money you would charge for a certain project so it's all of that it's very flexible and uh, you you can get different clients you can have different shifts shifts for different clients like for somebody you can work on a morning shift somebody you can work on an evening shift somebody you can work on an afternoon trip you can have graveyard trip based on your lifestyle whatever suits you and the aggregate earnings which you make it's pretty much equal to a full-time employment so it's nothing very uh, different right and here the as i said earlier the company is not the employer they're not the service providers it basically connects your um the contractors or the contract employees to the clients right and uh, it works based on the on a tech platform uh, like it could be an app or a website right and uh, even if you see the traditional companies are also using a lot of this like if you see contract based employees or freelancers you know they're looking for that uh, it's not just uh, more of startups it's now all the companies are looking for this right obviously because they save a lot of money in this process um why is this gig economy growing why why is people talking about it or uh, why are people talking about it why is it growing yeah definitely because it's very flexible you're independent you're having your own sweet time you're sitting in your house and you do your work based on your pace right there's nobody to question you you have your own way of independently independently doing your job which is great right you have more of lifestyle choices right your lifestyle is a uh, better because obviously you 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 don't have to sit at in the office for like 
12 13 hours there's no um, more pressure uh, there is pressure but there's a different kind of pressure uh, you are open to more opportunities you're open to doing different kinds of things which is great and um, companies are benefited like i said you know they save on a lot of costs there's a lot of costs involved on training people on recruitments right um, on the medical coverage that's that's the most where the money is uh, born so uh, it's very cost effective for the companies uh, so it's like a win win deal for everybody right talking about the numbers now if i talk about gig economy by numbers 36% of the entire US workforce, they either their primary or the secondary jobs uh, contribute towards the gig economy, right? And 63% of full-time workforce, they, they, they desire to work independently in the US. 40% uh, of the US workers, they earn money through this gig work. And um, talking about India, right? Uh, uh, India is like the fifth largest uh, flexi staffing after US, China, Japan and Brazil, right? Uh, so we're good at it. Like, and if you consider um, an economy, Indian economy, and people in India, um, population is humongous and uh, unemployment rates are massive, right? They're increasing a lot. People are losing jobs. So in such a scenario, uh, it's so so apt to have something which is very flexible which is like a source of income and um, obviously it generates income for you it, it's obviously creates economy builds the economy of the country as well right and uh, if you see uh, times have changed right people earlier days women used to be like homemakers you know and after marriage and they used to not get into anything else but times have changed people are um, women are coming out of their homes they're getting into the catering business they're getting into so many different things they're getting into baking and uh, different things right so it definitely uh, contributes a lot to the country's economy and uh, it helps everybody and it's also very cost effective now um talking about the major industries which um where gig works right firstly it's the computer and it industry right uh, computer it as i said you develop a software digital marketing is there security computer security internet security so many different jobs right it is so huge uh, I, I don't even know it's so huge so there's so many jobs and that's like booming and there's a huge demand so you get a lot of freelancing jobs you can work remotely and you can you know sort of get the job done second thing is writing right a uh, content writer or, or you can write or uh, uh, maybe a website development or the content for a website uh, or blogs right or uh, i remember in previous company we used to we we hired people uh, like freelancers for like bloggers who just do it we did not want them for a full-time employee simply because it's cost effective and you get the same uh, you know quality of people uh, right might as well get somebody on a contract based employment so that's their um copywriter jobs different kinds of writing content development it's it's booming right um that's there and uh, then you have accounts uh, and finance um account payment and receivables if you a tax return uh, related any work um uh, which is huge again uh, then you have um any forecasting sort of work you know those kind of projects you can you can just take a take it up and sort of uh, help in doing that and then you have project management somebody who can help in tracking the projects uh, talking to different vendors uh, a to z from conception to closure sort of helping them out and you know tracking and seeing things are in place uh, then you have admin Admin is basically communication related tasks, scheduling, maybe travel, etc. All, all those things. Then sixth is the education. Uh, education could be teaching, lecturing, coaching, um, taking tuitions online, taking tuitions offline. Um, you know, different things, right? Different ways of uh, making money. Now, these are like the top sectors. There are different sectors. You can just get a job in any any sector so resume writer so uh, i uh, i personally i um 
I uh, I'm a good critic of resumes so sometimes people ask me like if the resume is fine so I, I sort of tell them that you know you do this you do that so sometimes I feel like anybody who is good at something you know you can take it up as a freelancing job it's it's pretty cool right uh, so what are the pros of uh, of having a, a gig job or um, of this gig economy it's basically flexibility for you as an individual or uh, you can choose your client you can choose your rates you can use your time of work um, projects whatever you want right and uh, second thing is you can test drive something new right uh, you know get out of the monotonous routine and do something different um, you I here in London I, I get uh, you know these job pages you have you can become a dog walker you get paid for an hourly basis like a 10 pounds per hour um, you get uh, you can become a pet sitter you can become a housekeeper you can do so many different things you you can uh, you can become a crime scene assistant you get like forty dollars per hour so you you have so many different uh, ways of making money which is huge right and Third point is explore your passion, you know, whatever you really want to do in life, why don't you do it, you know, that these days, at least we guys have the opportunity to do different things at our own pace, why don't we utilize it to the maximum extent and do something which can help us uh, achieve inner satisfaction to a greater extent, saving time and money, you don't save money or you save time from on the transport on you know all of that uh, obviously you save money on that and then you sort of you know uh, invest it on yourself rather right what could be the cons cons are lack of benefits because you're not a permanent employee so you won't get all the insurance cover and stuff like that the health benefits which usually uh, any permanent employee gets um it's an inconsistent income so it all depends on you now if you you will have to be very determined in this case because um, it could be an hourly basis you have to plan your hours very carefully and you have to work on the timelines otherwise you might not um get paid you know it, it could be inconsistent third thing is burnout because you 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 might work for too many clients and working at odd hours that might just uh, you know tire you a lot uh, which could happen uh fourth point is loneliness obviously you know uh like working alone at home all the time it's it's quite depressing and we've all faced this during covid uh this entire lockdown all of us are you know no matter how bad uh, your maybe your uh, colleague is or how your boss might just screw you but then you're like let me just go to office and you know it's it's way better than staying at home so that's what happens if you continuously uh, have this life it brings a sort of loneliness to you which we are all personally also facing uh, in this COVID time, uh, difficult time. So that that happens, right? And um, fifth point is need some discipline. Uh, this obviously, if you work from home, you tend to get a little lazy, do something else. It's very important to have that discipline maintained, uh, which will uh, help you in the longer run, right? Um, now let's talk about now pros and cons are done. Let's talk about the impact of COVID uh, nineteen on uh, gig, right? How can this help? So. Uh, in this era, um, co gig economy co contributes very vastly towards the global economy because uh, if you see in this era, obviously uh, at this present time, most people are working from home, most people are preferring to have a job and like preferring what? You don't even have an option. You The jobs which are remotely done, they are going smooth rather than the jobs which are field-based or office-based, right? Uh, so it's, it's pretty uh, good. And if you see uh, like, in these times amazon is doing so exceptionally well right uh, they're making good money because most people uh, they they are scared to go to the physical stores so people are buying stuff online so there's a rise in the demand uh, of this delivery or uh, drivers delivery executives um the, the, the Amazon is like hiring so many people like all these managers, transport managers, etc. Because obviously there's high demand. So obviously you can get into the side and see the positive side to it that, you know, there are a lot of opportunities which are created uh, for a lot of people and you can use this to the maximum extent right uh, so that's that's there but this con to it that because it's not um, supported by the government um or a regulatory agency or something uh, 
so you don't get the support of the government because it's it's again a freelancing or contract based so uh, it's it's not like a permanent employment so so that's that's there so um yeah so these are um this is what gig economy is about so uh, to give you all a conclusion definitely gig economy is help will help and is helping for the revival of global economy and in, in the years to come it's going to benefit a lot more guys and uh, it's 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 basically online and uh, offline as well and uh, it's basically the the, the gig economy business uh, they're not the service providers they don't consider themselves as service providers they're just connecting the contractors or the people who are seeking jobs to the clients right uh, which is the the most essence or the main characteristic of gig economy right so this is what gig economy was about um, and i'm sure if somebody is um, uh, finding it difficult to find a job hope this video helps to for you all to just think over and uh, find and seek what you're actually looking for and if you have any queries, please post your comments and um, let me know what you think about gig economy. And I personally find it really interesting. And uh, if you have any queries, please post that and uh, please like and share my videos. And do not forget to subscribe to my channel on YouTube and take care. Um, this is a difficult and challenging time. So stay home and stay safe. Thank you all. Bye.